All right, guys. So here is my finished hair. I officially did it. I dyed my hair. I'm gonna walk in the bathroom and show you in the mirror. In three, two, one. Alright guys, so here is my finished hair. I officially did it. I dyed my hair. I'm gonna walk in the bathroom and show you in the mirror. In three, two, one. What do you guys think? This is my new hair. Let me flip around here. This is my new hair. I just did my makeup and it looks gorgeous. I am gonna tell you, I love my hair. It looks amazing. Um, for work purposes, this might get a little weird. Um, and just in case you're wondering, if you're watching this and wondering why I didn't post anything on Facebook, well, because I'm waiting till this vlog goes up to post pictures on Facebook because I want people to start going to my YouTube channel. So, that's what we're gonna do there. Let me pose for my clickbait. All right, so now I'm actually gonna go down and surprise my family and see what they think. I've already showed my, my Nana and she liked it, she said it looked good, but she only saw me my male self because I had to go with my male self, so she didn't get to see me all dolled up with makeup, but let's go surprise my family and see what they think. What is up guys, it is a brand new day, and I'm having trouble getting the vlog up, which is really pissing me off. And I'm over here at my parents' house, I had to come over here and get my laptop, um, because I left it here last night while I was editing, well, I went to work with my dad, and we didn't come back here. So, I'm down here trying to get it to work. It's not working. So, I have to grab my laptop, gather all my stuff, and literally walk home. And... Literally walk home and grab my USB drive. And try to save the video. It's not the uploading part I'm having trouble with. It's the saving. It won't save. And I think it's due to the fact that my computer doesn't have enough space, but it's not telling me that. It just keeps saying error. So I'm going to grab my USB drive, see if that fixes the problem. If not, I do not know what I'm going to do. Um, cause I need this vlog to work. Um, and I'm going to explain more about the hair here in a second. Alright, so before I leave, um, yes, I did dye my hair, and as you saw in previous clip, um, before the one I just recorded, um, I was all dressed up as Jade, and yes, after I got my hair done, I came home and got all dressed up as Jade, had my hair all curled, and it looks nice curled, but it also looks very nice like this, but, um, I'm gonna try to own it as Cabe because like I said, I'm not always Jade. So I'm gonna definitely try to own it. Um, that's what people have been telling me. They're like, just own it. I mean, even though yes, I did get this specifically for Jade because it's just something I've always wanted to do. If I had it my choice, like to do stuff for Cabe, I would get fucking dreads. My hair would be my hair would be pink and I would have like legit dreads, you know, just cause rapper, you know, a new age rapper, I should say that's a new age rapper thing. But, um, yeah. And I would change my name to, uh, it'd still be funk master bomb, but my stage name would be shortened to little funk fire. And I think that'd be really cool. Um, but anyways, yes, got my hair dyed. Just wanted to mention that. So I am going to head back to my place. 
So you guys are actually going to realize a lot that I hang out with my friend Justin a lot. You're going to realize that in this vlog. I'm going to mention him a lot as well as um, I hang out with Brandon a lot too. He says I don't know him, but I do know him because he's my friend. No, so um, yeah. So the reason I'm saying the whole Justin thing is I'm actually going to be going to lunch with Justin and possibly Brandon and then we're going to hit Walmart like we always do because I got to return some things. You prop the camera up here guys because I'm tired of holding it. It's hurting my hand. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I'm actually when we go to lunch, we're actually going to lunch to my work. So I have this clever idea that I'm going to uh have this very clever idea that I'm going to put my hair uh, up and hide it in my hood. And then I'm going to walk up to one of the servers that I know and be like, here, um, I got something I want to show you. And then I'm going to reveal my hair to her and see what she thinks. So I think it should be pretty funny. That is, unless she is my server, which would be really funny. Um, but yeah, definitely going to do that. So... Um, I'll let guys I'll let you know how uh, that goes. All right guys Welcome to Q&A because I can the next guest on my show is someone you've seen plenty of times and Someone who you might recognize as a hilarious person. The next guest on my show is official Brandon Collins Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you for clapping. He's a good person All right now, just so you guys don't think that um, I've somehow rigged the system or cheated here, I went online and purposely searched for Q&A questions. How this is going to work is uh, each of us will take turns just grabbing questions and if it's for both of us, we'll both answer it and if it's just a singular question, I mean, we'll both answer it as well. So, all right, the first question here is Do you like TV talent shows? And that is, for, for me, a def definite, obvious yes, because I follow and watch America's Got Talent whenever it comes out. Back in the day, I used to like watch clips of uh, America's Got Talent on YouTube. But to answer the question, yes, I definitely like them. How about you? Yeah. They cool. We got a they cool. Mm. Now, I will let Brandon grab a question. Uh, what food do you love the most? Potatoes. Anything potatoes. I can concur to that. And um, my answer for this is definitely, you guys should know this, is definitely pizza. Um, as much as you see in my channel, I have a lot of problems with uh, Pizza Hut, but I love pizza. I'm just going to put that out there. That is by far my favorite food. But if we're going around the world, my second best answer has to be Italian food. Definitely Italian. All right, guys, now I shall go. Have you ever been featured in the news? Television-wise, no, but I have been mentioned and had a story written about me in the newspaper before, twice, actually. How about you? Uh, nope, but I have been featured on YouTube on a popular channel. That's right, he has. So... They do sort of new stuff, so I guess you could count that. Yeah, the Good Mythical Morning. Yes. If you ever want to check it out, it's the cake episode. 100 Years of Cake. Yes, it is. Alrighty, my friend. Do you have any favorite... Do you have any favorite song together? Oh, that's a best... Uh, um, sort of best friend question. Do we both have... We're friends. Wow. Do it, well, do we both have a favorite song that... I mean... I mean, I, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and chime in here. Um, I mean, favorite song? 
I'm not certain about, but I do know we both like NF, so I'm sure there's a song we both like by him. Um, yeah, not really sure which one, but yes, we do. Okay. Oh yeah, this will be a fun one. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? And answer is no. I have tried several times and have been frustrated to the point where I just never touched a Rubik's Cube again. Yeah, that took me about 45 minutes to do three sides, and I could not figure out the fourth side. Impressive. That's a lot further than I have ever gotten. So, this just proves the theory that he's better than me. Alright, can you juggle? Nope. Never been able to. Always wanted to. I will say the same. Yes, I have never been able to. I've came close, but always wanted to. What song do you love the most? Well, so practically the same question. Pretty much, yeah. but singular. Um, so, for me, what song do I love the most? It would have to be... Barbie Girl? Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. I'm a Barbie girl. Good song, but no. <laughs> um, um, it would have to be a song from my favorite band, Sum 41, um, which is uh, Pieces. Um, it's a song that I connect with, and I like it. It's uh, a very good song. Um, that's what song I like the most. Now, how about you? I'm gonna have to pass on this one because uh, music is how I stay alive. So I don't even, I couldn't tell you what my favorite is. Okay then. Nicest thing you've ever done for each other. I bought him a early 2000s Mac uh, desktop computer. All right, <clears throat> whoa, excuse me. All right, now, <laughs> this is quite controversy between us, and he is just going to love me for giving this answer. Better not be the bathroom, so. Unfortunately, yes. Um, I mean, at, I, I got to say, at the time, I was trying to be really nice, and I bought him a bathroom sign. I think it was for his birthday because I thought it was a nice gift, but apparently a bathroom sign is... Not a very nice gift. But, yeah. We'll leave it at that. What is your best achievement? Well, for me, it's actually um, getting the courage to actually start my YouTube channel and just seeing how far it has grown from where it used to be. I mean, it's not as verified or popular yet, but that doesn't matter to me. I mean, the fact that I'm reaching people and having people message me saying they like my stuff and that I'm touching people, that to me is um, considered my greatest achievement. Some may not see that, but... There you go. He likes touching people. Oh, just okay. be aware he's related to the boogeyman. Um, I haven't achieved much in life, so... Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? What kind of a bullshit question is that? He probably feels targeted. Oh, I have to answer. Um, I don't know. Probably not. I... No? Not necessarily teddy bear, but I do have one of... Actually... Two of my childhood toys still, yes, actually. I've had them for years, and I don't get rid of them because they're very personal and sentimental to me. He has conversations with them. I do not. Do not believe that, guys. Ha. Can you impersonate somebody famous? Uh, no. I mean, um... 
No, I, I cannot. I mean, the closest is a uh, animated cartoon voice, and um, that is Cartman from South Park. But I, yeah, I can't really do much of anybody famous. How about you? I don't know, can I? I don't pay attention to what I'm good at. Mm, yeah, I, 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 I don't know, guys. I, I, I just check out my video. Check out my channel. Tell me. Yes, he has a lot of uh, impersonations he does on there. So yes, definitely let us know because we are unsure at the moment. People are gonna watch this and be like, "These guys do not know how to answer questions." <laughs> if we can't answer questions, this is the most awkward thing I've ever watched. What films do you love the most? Well. Guys, I'm going to tell you this, it's not Star Wars. The film series that I could probably watch more than once a year is Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Nice. Yeah, another one of those, um, he's just going to love me for saying this, um, a film series that I really love and could watch any time of the year <laughs> of practically three times is... Uh, Home Alone, I, as you guys know and have seen in my um, videos before, I talk about that I just love Home Alone and that will always be a favorite classic to me. So. Hence the fact he's wearing a Christmas hat right now. Totally at random. They're targeting me. Do you like scary movies? Oh God, no. I mean, thrillers, that's okay. I mean, actual scary movies about like demons and haunted scary nuns or creepy little girls. No, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, don't love any of that. That just not my thing. Uh, started to get into that kind of stuff a couple years ago. I really like that type of stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> no. I grew up sheltered, so I wasn't allowed to watch that type of stuff. But I love that type of stuff now. Are you? Oh wow, I was actually right what I was going to say. That's weird. <laughs> really? No. Uh, who would the love of your life be if you were homosexual or heterosexual? Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. That's a little weird. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I guess we have to be honest, don't we? Yeah, if you, if you want to okay. be. Okay, first of all, I was a homosexual. The only man I pro I, I and I'm not gay, okay? But the only man I'd probably go for is Billy Eichner, because he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, you know Billy on the street, guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was confused for a minute, but yeah, okay. That's yeah, that's funny. Um, um, yeah, I would probably um have to say Ryan Reynolds because like he just said yeah he's pretty funny but that man is ripped overrated now okay okay move on from this question yeah. please technically I've already answered this but favorite band and that is Sum 41 I mean as of recently I've been getting into a lot of uh, Blink 182 so they are definitely a close second but for sure Sum 41 Favorite band? I don't listen to much bands. I'm more of I like the single artists, but um, at this moment I don't know. Sorry. Would you like to be famous? Well, depends. Really? How would it affect my life? That's my only question for it. I'll definitely say, yeah, he's got the right idea. I mean, I'm sure everybody out there watching this would love to be famous. Anybody wants to be famous, but nobody wants the lifestyle that comes with being famous, of always having your life watched, paparazzi following you. Basically, you can't do anything a normal person would do, such as post controversial stuff like... If you said, oh, giving my child up for adoption, that's going to be like a big, huge thing with people and saying, oh, why are you doing this? But yeah, basically, 
I'll say yes, I'd love to be famous as long as I didn't have all the stuff that comes with it. Ah, that's the easy one. Are you religious? Okay, in a sense, yes. I mean, the way that the world puts it, yes. I am Christian, but that does not mean a lot of us, let me rephrase, a lot of us Christians do not consider being Christian as a religion, but I'm going to say yes, I am Christian. Yep, pretty much, yep, same, same. Yep. I had technical difficulties. Um, my actual new vlogging camera uh, has run out of storage space, so I have to go in and delete some stuff. Um, and if we looked more zoomed in, we're using my iPhone um, to finish the video because we know that content is important. And then I know it's not my video, but uh, if you're watching this, Betty White, happy birthday. You're 98 now. Yes. Crazy. Congratulations. Still rocking your rocker. Been a live for a while. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Alright, let's go. How long did it take you to become best friends? Hello? Okay. From from the rumors I've heard when we met in fifth grade, he despised me secretly. He didn't like me. And then uh, years later, we decided to become friends. So my version of it is it basically took us five years to become friends again and then maybe another two to be actually become best friends. We, back then in fifth grade, I, I knew Brandon, I knew who he was, and he was friends with one of my friends, and I just, back then I thought, this kid is weird, I don't like this kid, who is this kid? And little did I know, like seven years later, that he'd become my best friend. And there's been plenty of times where we've had difficulties, but we're still best friends. Sure. Have you ever, have you ever met someone famous? And the answer to that is yes, I have actually. Um, I actually met. Um, don't know if you guys know who he is, but I have met Michael Winslow, and he was in the movie Police Academy, and he is the um, sound effects guy that did all the sound effects in that movie. He was the comedian guy. What are you in for? I'll show you. God damn it, stop that! Oh, oh, no, sir, no, not you. That's terrific, really. And, um, yes, I met him. He came to town and did a comedy special at my work, so that was very fun to watch. How about you? Hmm, someone famous. I mean, I, I wouldn't really consider some of the people I've met famous because they aren't really famous famous, but they are musicians and stuff. But uh, so I'm going to have to just say no, but I don't, I couldn't really tell you. Oh, if you were the president of the world. What law would you improve? The president of the world. That's a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Well, it's not a thing, but if it was a thing. All right, in the future, there's going to be a thing called the president of the world, apparently. You sure you didn't type these up yourself? No, I printed these that's from a website. That's like something you would say. Um, what would I, what law would I approve? I don't, um, I guess, I don't know. Equality in the workplace. Probably. Nice, nice. I don't know. You, you get points for that one from 
our women audience probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have nine sisters, so I understand women. All right, now. You didn't answer. Wait. Oh, I. Uh, that's right. I need to answer, don't I? Um. Wow. Excuse me. Uh. If uh, I was president of the world, um. What law that I would approve? Allow everybody to. Sh share medical resources so we can better f fight some of these um, potentially harmful diseases that other countries have come up with solutions for that we can cure. I would approve to have that shared with everybody. So that's what I would do. Explain that a little. Explain it. Like, you want to share medications with people? No, 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 I want to share. That's what you said. Allow everybody to sh share medical resources. I still, no, I said I want to share medical resources that other countries have come up with. Like okay, if, just making sure we're not sharing the same needs. No, 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 not at all. Okay, well, that's dangerous. Okay, now it's my turn to answer this last question for the video. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty intense question. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Like what, what do you mean? Well, anything that's happened. Oh, just like anything? Yeah, like either in your life or just something that's happened within the world, but for me to answer this question, it's gonna be about my life. And if there's one thing that I could definitely change that happened, and some of you may have known this, but it would be the car crash of my best friend. If I could change that, I definitely would and bring him back. I mean, I know things are meant to happen within God's eyes, but that would be one thing I could change if I could. I'd go back in time. Stop Bush from doing 9-11. Okay, then. <laughs> this has taken a funny twist. Well, at least that we've uh, ended it on a uh, funny note. That is great. All right, guys. So thanks for checking out this somewhat of a uh, Q&A. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. I mean, obviously, if you want me to do a Q&A with somebody else, um, please feel free to let me know and um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and definitely make sure to check out Brandon's channel, um, Official Brandon Collins, where he does some pretty hilarious content. Don't waste your time. All right guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. You wanna join the CBV squad? Click the link in the description to go to my merch page and buy your CBV Squad merch. And thanks for watching.